Okay, okay. Hey guys, I'm Katie, as you guys know, or KB Does Art, and we're back for another tutorial. This time we're kind of tackling um, a more complicated object. So if you haven't seen my other tutorials, try those first because those are a little bit easier. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit more complicated. So as you can see, we're gonna be doing a lamp today. It's got like a cool little in feature that I thought would like look kind of cool. And um, yeah. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna make a new scene. Um, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and make a cylinder. So this cylinder, I think I made it um, like 0.2 or something. Cause this is gonna be the base. So it's gotta be pretty short. There we go, that's pretty good. I'll change the color of my background for you guys. It's a little dark. There we go. Okay, so I did uh, let's make the radius 2, make it a little bigger, 0.2 for the height, and then 20, 1, and 1 looks good. We can go ahead and put it to the floor, so just do 0.1 on the Y. Um, you can't see my floor, but there you go. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the top faces. So to go into face mode, click Q, hold tab, and select all of these faces. Next, we're going to extrude, so Command E or Control E, and then go ahead and offset it by like... 1.9 or like 2, somewhere around that uh, area. It's going to be pretty small because this is going to be the piece that's going to like come up out of the base. All right, so don't unclick. Go ahead and then extrude again, and you're going to thicken it by 5. Or whatever height you kind of feel makes it look the best. I feel like that's a pretty good height for a lamp. So um, next... Let's go ahead and extrude and then change or bring it up a little bit so it looks like this. Okay, so go ahead. Once you have that, go ahead and extrude again and then um, go ahead and move it up a little bit so you have kind of like this. Yeah, this part of it. That's going to be our shade. So what now you're going to do is you're going to select that whole top face, just like that. Make sure you didn't get any other extra faces. And then you're going to extrude and scale. So click R for scale. And then hold this yellow square here. So that's going to be our lamp shade, okay? Um, try and make it a good size for, you know, the lamp you want. Maybe I want like that. That, lo that looks pretty good. Maybe a little smaller. Okay, that seems good. If you want it uh, taller, just select these faces um, and just move them up. Okay, looks good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and delete um, the top faces and the bottom faces. You don't have to do this if you want your lamp to be closed. I decided that I want mine to be open so I could add that little feature in the middle, but it's totally up to you. Um, go ahead and delete them so that you have like an inside like that. Then you wanna go ahead and select um, all of those faces. So somehow what I did is I, I just clicked tab and then double clicked it and it would take them all. Make sure you don't have anything selected of the base or of that metal pole in the middle. And extrude and up the thickness until it's you know whatever thickness you kinda of want your um, shade to be. That looks pretty good, I like 0.15. Okay, so next what I'm kind of thinking, um, I'm gonna put like kind of a, like a torus shape, a little like small circle in the middle. Um, so I'm gonna use the torus, it's this button up here. I'm gonna make it, let's see, maybe like, it's gonna be really small, so like 0.03 might be a good radius. Click W and just like pull it up so you can see it. Okay, that's a pretty good ring size, yeah. And then I'll, I'll just make my 10 height divisions instead of 20. Um, okay, that looks that looks pretty good. So basically we can just kind of scale that however we want. Um, try not to move it like this because then it'll take it off your origin. Um, right now everything's lined up really perfectly so you kind of want to leave it like that. Um, okay, so let's see. I want this to kind of be at the bottom of the shade. So I'm just gonna bring that down um, with this arrow to kind of just match up closer to the bottom. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll do like that. Um, and then next, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that. So just do Command D, and it gave you a second torus, as you can see over here. And then you can just move that one up to be more at the top of the um, shade. So I'll put mine like here. That also means that we're gonna be needing to um, scale this up a little bit. You see how there's no top on it? Let's first go into edge mode, select that entire edge, go to mesh and do fill hole, and it'll fill it for us. Next, go into face mode and select that face. Then go into edit mesh and poke. Now it gives it all of the vertices. All right, still in face mode, click Q, hold tab and select all those faces. And then let's just go ahead and click W and move it up to be closer to the top. All right, not quite that high, maybe like that. That looks good, maybe a little lower. Okay, and then we'll match our torus up to that a little bit. Okay, that should be okay for now. Same with the bottom, so this, um, this will match just fine actually. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, um, I kind of wanted like a pole going through my entire thing to connect it all. So what I did is I created a cylinder that's gonna be really small. So go to poly cylinder and then make a 0.02 radius by two height and then do 10 divisions instead of one. And then you can go ahead and just lift that up. See how small it is, so thin. Um, and then go ahead into um, P cylinder two in your attribute editor over here on the right. And you want to change the rotation to like 90 or negative 90 so that it's at a 90 degree angle. Good, looks good. Okay, now we're gonna move that down so that it um, clips through the base or the pole and that it clips through these guys as well. Um, it kind of looks good like this. I kind of want it to connect to the shade. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click R and then I think, yep. So if you pull the yellow axis, you can go all the way to the shade. So just make sure that it doesn't go through. You can see it going through right there. Just make sure that it's clipping it but not going all the way through. All right, now I'm gonna fix what this torus looks like at the intersection. Go ahead, select that torus, hit W, and then move it up so it looks a little bit more even on that intersection. That looks better. Okay, now we're gonna do the exact same thing. So click on that cylinder, do Command D, we're gonna duplicate it, and then just move it down to be intersecting through that other torus down there. Okay, let's make it a little more even. Keep going. All right, there we go, now it intersects. All right, that looks pretty good. I like how that looks. Um, I didn't explore making a light bulb for this because just I, I felt like that was too complicated, but a light bulb is uh, something on my to-do list of do a tutorial for, so maybe just stay posted for that. Um, eventually it'll come, so. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Now we just gotta go through and kind of smooth it out. Um, if you click, go into object mode, and then click the objects and do three. You can see this one's uh, doesn't look so good without beveling. So let's go ahead, select the edges of the shade on the top and on the bottom, just holding shift to get them all. Control B is our bevel and then just do two segments. And then um, I'm gonna do the same for the base because I don't want it to um, do this on the base. See how it goes in. So go into edge mode, select the top and the bottom, bevel it, control B, do two segments. And then we need to go down at the bottom here and select the edge of this cylinder, which is, can be a little complicated because it's small. There we go. Control B, um, do two segments, and then bring down the fraction. As you can see, it's a little big right now. So I would just drag it down to like 0.15 or something like that. There we go. So if we go into object mode again and press three, it looks a bit, bit smoother. Um, what you can also see is at the top of this pole here, it does something a little weird and I don't really like that it does that. So I'm also going to bevel this uh, top edge as well. So um, just do control 
B or Command B, two segments. You can make the fraction kind of how big you want it. I want to make mine like 0.1. That way it's more of a circle um, than it falls into like a tip. Okay, so go ahead and click all those cylinders and the toruses and do, um, do three as well. You have to do each object individually if they're not connected. Okay, there we go. Everything is more smoothed out now. So just make sure you have three on for all of those objects. And yeah, that looks like a pretty good lamp. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So um, if you guys have any questions about um, the procedure I did, let me know. Um, if anything was confusing, uh, send me an email or comment below and I'll try and re-explain anything that might have been weird. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you guys and um, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!